Okie dokie. Why am I looking at a magazine that's dated June 1979, you may ask? Well, my younger brother asked me to do a review on my old Ruger Security 6. Yep. And my brother actually got this magazine for me at the pawn shop he used to work for. Okay, Ruger's new heavy barrel 357 Magnum. More weight. Yeah. I actually bought this gun, let's see, a few years ago from a pawn shop for about $270. Yeah. Bought it for $270. It had a bit of rust on it. I just soaked it in hops for about a week, and I just wiped the rust off. Because these things are built like tanks. Oh, safety check. Gun is clear. Nothing in here. Yep. I really like these guns. I think they're... I think they're very nice. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's like it's coming right off the page. Because it is. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just a good little old 357 Magnum. It was replaced by the GP100 for some reason. I don't know why. They said that the GP100 was specifically made to shoot, let's see, heavier loads of 357 Magnum, and it is stronger. That's their reason why they replaced it, but apparently these guns cost a good bit of money to make back then. 1972 to 1988, this is Ruger's flagship gun. Their flagship. I like this sight. Yeah, it's not as... Well, the Bluing's nothing compared to a Smith & Wesson or a Colt, but they're rugged, they're reliable, they're cast frames, so they're built like a tank. And, well, it's a Ruger. They make good, dependable guns. My favorite brand, actually. Yep. I just like Rugers. That's pretty much all there is to say. And like I said before, I'm doing this video because my younger brother asked me to. I'm not really much of a gun guy. I have an old shotgun and I have uh, this nice little revolver. But, oh, my shotgun, it's not a Ruger shotgun. I have an old Winchester shotgun. But, you know, because Ruger shotguns are a bit hard to find because they've been discontinued for a few years. So, I went the route of Winchester for my shotgun. But, yeah, back to the start of the show. Ruger. Some people... Oh, the reason it looks all weird is because I wiped it down with a little bit of oil and stuff. So, just oil mainly. I'm not a fan of having all this writing on the barrel, but it doesn't affect the function of the gun. i much rather have a Security 6 than a new Smith & Wesson because... Smith & Wesson's, they have that keyhole on the side plate of the gun. I think it makes them look tacky. Much tackier than some writing on the barrel. But, yeah. Here we go. Ruger Security 6. Nice little logo. Good grips. Whoops. Show my serial number. I mean, I doubt someone would try to copy the serial number onto another gun, but anyway. Yeah. I like this gun. Uh, these things, let's see. The Security 6 actually came out in 1972, but apparently they made the barrel a little bit heavier to strengthen it back in 1979. So I guess technically this is like a new model Ruger Security 6. 
no pencil barrel. Yeah, I like this gun. Oh god, five minutes. This video has gone on for a good while. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video on my old Ruger Security 6. I think mine was made in 1982. I think that's what the serial number said when I looked it up. But yeah, I had this for a few years. like it very much, and my brother asked me to do a review, so... Shout out to my younger brother, who's an MP in the Army. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. God bless.